what is up? My name is Katherine Steele and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're headed off Broadway to discuss the Jeremy Jordan casting controversy. Question of the day, what are your thoughts about all of this insane Jeremy Jordan drama? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have no idea what's going on and now you're terrified because something happened to Jeremy Jordan? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into this discussion. On February 5th, Slate Magazine published an article stating that Jeremy Jordan is too hot to take on the role of Seymour Krellborn in the off-Broadway production of Little Shop of Horrors, a casting decision that was recently announced. Yikes, 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 yikes. I feel like we're in such an era of self-love and body positivity and confidence and defining what hot means to you that this whole article just seems a little weird, tone deaf, cringe. Like I'm scared for the day that that journalist realizes that Ramin Karimlu played the Phantom of the Opera, muscle mass and all. I don't know. Do we? Do we have to talk about actors' bodies and let that define what roles they can and can't play? It just seems a little weird, right? Anyway, since this article was published yesterday, the Broadway community has shown up for Jeremy Jordan in a big way. In probably my favorite series of tweets, his friends have come to his defense, in fact confirming that he is a nerd and a dweeb. His friends also brought up the fact that Jeremy does wear glasses in real life, which was a point that the article had made that they were going to like slap on a pair of fake glasses because he's a nerd now. But Jeremy just literally needs glasses, you know, for his vision, like a lot of us, myself included. The whole situation just kind of seems odd to me. Like you would never in a million years see an article stating the opposite, that an actress is too ugly to play the role she's been cast in without seeing like major backlash or criticism. So it kind of makes sense that we're seeing the same here. Saying that Jeremy Jordan is too attractive to take on the role of Seymour is by no means a compliment. Cause at the end of the day, they're still effectively saying that he's unqualified to hold the position that he has been employed for. It seems like they're ignoring all of his other qualifications, his incredible voice, his own artistic interpretation of the material, his star power, his name. That is the stuff that matters and why he was hired for this show. It seems kind of like a disservice to forget all of that in favor of he has nice hair so he shouldn't do it. Which now that we're on the topic, let's talk about Little Shop of Horrors and spoiler alert for Little Shop of Horrors. To me, the core of Seymour's personality and his character arc isn't the fact that he's traditionally unattractive, it's that he lacks confidence. He's always felt unwanted and unloved and felt like he never really had a home. He feels like he's unworthy of nice things and deserves to be treated badly. Look at the story itself. Audrey too, the plant, never changes Seymour's physical appearance. He doesn't like give him muscles. The thing that Seymour gains from the plant is confidence. That right there is the thesis of the show. That is Seymour's arc. It's not that he's unattractive, it's that he's unconfident. And everyone struggles with confidence, regardless what they look like. Additionally, guys, <laughs> It's 2020. We have an ongoing dialogue about what is considered attractive and how having these rigid standards of beauty are toxic and frankly bullshit. This happens constantly to women, especially in the entertainment industry. And the fact that it's happening to a man right now doesn't make it okay. I think this is part of kind of a larger conversation that has to do with people being excluded or not taken seriously because of an outside factor that they can't control. Maybe because of their gender or they're short or they're cute, that they're not taken seriously in business or leadership positions or on screen or on stage to tell a story. But that is a whole other conversation for a whole other day. Additionally, as pointed out on Twitter by tons of people and actors, actors by trade act. That's what they do. They're supposed to be versatile. They're supposed to be able to tap into a bunch of different characters. Going even further into this idea that there are no hot nerds, we are an industry of hot nerds. Are you kidding me? Musical theater performers dedicate pretty much their entire lives to a slightly fringe art form for almost no money. We train 24 seven. All we can talk about is this thing that we're obsessed with. All of our friends basically do the exact same thing. We even have a convention, Broadway con. If that doesn't count as nerd culture, I don't know what does. Now, I understand the argument that by casting Seymour as a hot guy means that you're taking away a role from someone in a nerd casting type. Someone who would traditionally be relegated to a side 
character, and Seymour is really one of the only roles where a nerd can thrive as a leading man. And that argument, I think, is totally valid. But I think the anger is misplaced. Don't get mad at Jeremy Jordan for playing a nerd. Get mad at the entertainment industry. Get angry at our insidious beauty standards. Get angry at a culture that dictates that nerds or actors of color or actors above a certain dress size are relegated to just a handful of leading roles. In my opinion, unless the text dictates that a character must look a certain way, anyone should be able to play any role. We're not quite there yet, but we're definitely making making great strides in that direction. Editing Cat here, we have an update. Jeremy Jordan has officially responded to the criticism that he is too hot to play Seymour. Here's what he said in response. He's a national treasure. I love him. He's too good. We don't deserve him. So now that you've heard my opinion, I want to hear yours. What do you think about this Jeremy Jordan casting controversy? Do you think he should play the role? Do you think that there's maybe something to it that maybe he shouldn't? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Join the musical theater internet cult. We'd love to have you. I promise we're not a real cult. We just act like one sometimes. If you want more content, check out my second channel where I vlog my everyday life and my theatery adventures. You yeah. smell unbelievable. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.